tell you about uh, 25, 30 minutes ago, I had a local farmer call me, tell me he had two coyotes out in the pasture field just laying up sunning. And uh, I gathered my stuff up, got rushed out here real quick, and sure enough, I spot them at her drove by. You see them from the road. And uh, they're out here, out here on the end of this ridge. You can see it from the road where it stretches down, and coyotes are bedded up down there on the end. Snuck up here to the ridge top. Got up here to, to these gates right here in front of me. And they should be three or four hundred yards out through there. Actually, I saw one stand up as I was walking up here and just got up and moused around a little bit. And I don't know if it bedded back down or went on over the hill where I couldn't see. But I'm going to try to crawl underneath this gate. Just set her call out right here, just right here on the other side of the gate. This big tree right here to my right. Casting a lot of shade down the hill. I'll get down there in that shade and see if we can call them things up here. Stay tuned.
Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. How's that for a self-film double, baby? Ooh, that feels good. What's that in there? It's that's directly downwind for one thing. I don't know how in the world that worked. But well, fair, I could have shot it up on top of the hill, but skyline, farm country, definitely don't want to do that. Turn the call back on, and a sucker comes ripping right back down here to us. Awesome. This, this person definitely ain't no trouble to find. It's just 15 steps away. Yeah, here it is. Yep, right there. this camera down yeah first one meal oh he is definitely not near as fluffy as they are back in Wyoming but it don't matter none to me right there in the base of the neck right where it goes into the chest and that ain't a that ain't a yearling it's probably last year's last year's meal it looks like much, not much hair on it. There it is. Let's go get our other one. All right, our other coyote will be right up here. It wasn't very far shot either. 60 yards maybe, 70, I don't know. Should be right on top of this ridge. It, second coyote, that male, little male, right there, there it is. Actually uh, run right by the thing. It had to run right over top of it. Yeah, right here. Oh yeah, right there. Fold it up. Just camera down again, take a look at this one. This one is, that's the female. Yeah. All right, there they are. Female out of the bunch. This shot her right now point of the shoulder there where she's kind of creeled around. She couldn't handle too much of that. Shooting at uh, 243, we're shooting a uh, 70 grain uh, ballistic tip bullet out of it now. Man, it is eating their lunch. We ain't had, we ain't had one run at all, do none of that biting and spinning, uh, you know, flipping and flopping. They just falling over the bed. I like that a lot better. Uh, kills a lot quicker and uh, pretty pleased with it. These coyotes back together here. Whew. Tell you what, it doesn't get much better than uh, midday Kentucky coyote doubles. I said earlier, I think thought this one was maybe a last year's coyote, but after getting these two together, I'd say it's probably this year's. Got some big old teeth in it, what never thought it'd be uh, this year's, but after getting them both together, this one's definitely considerably bigger. But uh, I tell you what, that was an awesome, quick, midday hunt. Can't get no better than that, another double down.